Well, Port Corpus Christi secured $23 million in funding to help deepen and widen the ship channel. And our Jane Caffrey has a look at how that's expected to impact port operations. Port officials say this funding will speed up efforts to widen and deepen the ship channel. And once that project is done, Corpus Christi will have the deepest ship channel in the U.S. Gulf. The fact that we'll be able to go deeper means that we will be much more competitive. American energy that's trying to find its way to the markets that need it can come to Corpus Christi. That's the goal of the ship channel improvement project. Dredgers are set to be in the water this summer. And for that big dig, big bucks. $23 million in the Army Corps of Engineers work plan. The project will move forward at full speed. We can do more work in less time. Right now, the Corps of Engineers is looking to contract a dredging company to begin the first phase of the project, dredging from the jetties to Harbor Island. This $23 million will fund the second phase, dredging out to Redfish Bay. We hope to have this project completed by the end of 2021. It certainly is dependent on the Corps' ability to execute and subsequent funding. Port commissioners are in Washington, D.C. now working to get even more funds for next year. It's an investment they say will pay off with economic returns for the Coastal Bend, Texas and the nation. This project will add another $40 billion of goods value to our exports. That means that our trade deficit, which is currently over $500 billion, can be reduced right here in Corpus Christi. This new funding announcement comes in addition to $13 million that the federal government allocated to the Army Corps of Engineers for this project earlier this year. Reporting at the port, Jane Caffrey, Chris Six News. Now, this project has been a long time in coming. You may remember that the original feasibility study for deepening the ship channel started back in 1990.